Hello and welcome to the aquifer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize those CV values that get, you get from valve manufacturers. You know, if you're designing some kind of globe valve or maybe a butterfly valve, you'll go and look at a chart uh, looking for head loss and you're going to find a CV value. And if you're like me, you're going to think, well, what am I supposed to do with this? This thing's unitless. Uh, it doesn't appear to be useful as a K value because the numbers are going to be like ridiculously high. They're going to be hundreds. So what is a CV value? Um, and how can we incorporate this into our normal pressure pipe design? You know, I'm using going to use Darcy Weisbach for my head loss calculation, as you'll see in here. And that's pretty typical for what I would do for minor losses. So Darcy Weisbach is based on a K value. That's a function of the velocity squared divided by two times uh, G, which is a gravity constant. But I need a K value and I've got a CV value. The CV value uh, is basically in a relationship uh, between flow rate and pressure drop. And we're going to be working in terms of water. So as you can see, the specific gravity will just be one. So we can ignore that in our calculation. Uh, typically, you're going to get a CV value, and this would be an example of one you might receive uh, that would say, okay, it's 250. Well, that means for 250 gallons a minute, there's going to be one PSI of pressure drop. So that's basically what the CV value is giving you. So how do you apply that? So let's do a little bit of rearranging to try to get this thing in terms of units that we can work with. So here I am, I'm converting it uh, from gallons per minute into uh, cubic feet per second. And then I'm going to flip it and put the uh, squared on the right side of the equation so that the uh, pressure drop is now uh, not under the radical. Here we're going to take and we're going to, as you can see, take the uh, flow rate and convert it into its constituent components of velocity times area and we're going to use uh, area in terms of square inches so as you can see I've got my inches uh, conversion there at the bottom. Next we're going to know also that the pressure drop has a relationship to the head loss in feet so this would be my conversion uh, to go from head loss in feet to pressure drop in PSI. And here, now we can put these two equations together and we can make one equal the other. Those are basically just the first two equations that you saw. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to solve those equations for head loss in feet. And doing a lot of math and uh, algebra here, we're going to come up with the relationship between head loss in feet and the diameter the velocity of the flow and the CV. And we've got this 13.827 uh, factor out front, which is basically the product of pi and the numbers that are not variables here. So simplifying this, we know that the head loss is also equal to K times V squared over 2G, Darcy Weisbach. So then we can do another reduction of this equation, flipping the gravity constant and a 2 to the right side of the equation and solving for a k and we get that the k value is equal to 890.48 times the diameter to the fourth power in inches divided by the cv squared and I'll provide you with a little bit of an example here so let's say we're working on a 12 inch to Zurich plug valve and they give us a cv of 6300 well the 6300 gallons per minute equates to 14 CFS in a 12 inch pipe and the velocity in that pipe would be 17.87 feet per second as you can tell these are pretty high for a normal pressure pipe system that we might do in like a municipal water or sewer application and applying those numbers we've got our area or our diameter 12 to the fourth power divided by our CV to the squared power, we come up with a K value of 4.65. That seems reasonable based on the type of work uh, and it, our knowledge of those numbers. So then applying that through Darcy Weisbach, 
of 4.65 times our velocity squared divided by 2 at our gravity constant, we would come up with our head loss in feet is 2.31 feet. And if you're like me and you do a lot of these, you can automatically tell almost by inspection that that is 1 psi. So we've proven that the relationship between k and cv is as shown here. I hope you found this to be helpful. Feel free to rewatch it. And uh, also, if you really like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or some feedback. Uh, I look forward to giving you another video here soon.